We've just crossed Sims Road into Hamilton, Ohio, headed to a most unusual public monument. Here at the southern end of the downtown business district, you'll find a park which holds a monument to John Cleves Sims and his theory of the hollow earth. You can pause the video here to read the whole story and I will also leave some links in the section below. The most simplistic explanation of Sims's hypothesis would be that he believed the Earth consisted of five concentric spheres all existing inside of each other with openings at both the North and the South Pole. Each of these individual spheres would be inhabitable. However, he was not the first to propose this theory. That credit would need to go to Edmund Halley, who later went on to track the path of the comet that would come to bear his name. Now, having spoken with some of the residents and locals in the area, they consider this alley to be commonly referred to as Cannonball Alley, which suggests to me that they may not even be familiar with the significance of the monument that is practically in their own backyards. Here, more or less in the center of the park, is the monument to Sims himself. We'll take a closer look and you may want to pause from time to time to read these individual inscriptions. At great expense to himself, Sims had over 500 copies of his proposal drawn up and sent to universities all around the world. He attempted to drum up support for an Arctic expedition to the North Pole, which would attempt to locate one of these massive openings to try to explore the world inside. I've included some artistic interpretations of Sims' theories. It's interesting that this side of the monument actually appears to be a burial memorial. However, it's important to note that John Sims is not buried at this location. He's actually buried at Sims Burial Ground a few miles south of here down in Fairfield, Ohio. I've left a link to that location in the uh, section below as well. It's interesting that it was Sims's son, Americus, who was only 17 when his father died, who was his father's biggest supporter. And it was his push to build this monument that actually finally got it put in place here in Hamilton, Ohio. There's no reason to pause the video here to read this section of the uh, monument. Basically all this is is a uh, list of folks who are patting themselves on the back basically for being involved in the restoration of this monument. But if you'd like, you can go back and pause the video and read all about it. This really is a beautiful and fascinating monument. However, I do not know whether or not the people who placed it here uh, took into consideration the alignment of the sun at any time of year with that hole in the top of the monument. That would be interesting to find out, however I have not been able to locate uh, any information about that specifically. While this monument to John Cleve Sims and his hollow earth theory certainly is fascinating, I cannot in good conscience suggest that somebody make a day trip to this particular park. If you happen to be in the area, by all means, feel free to stop by. Um, however, you need to understand that this is not necessarily the safest neighborhood that you're going to find. On the other side of the park, there are some individuals engaged in what I will refer to as urban street commerce. And uh, as I walk down this alley, I have found myself stepping over and around uh, hypodermic syringes from time to time. And I only say that to say this, that if you're the adventurous type, well, then feel free to stop by. 
you might find more to do in the neighborhood, that would be totally up to you. But please note that if you have an aversion to the smell of urine, you may want to stay in the car. Okay, the video is over. Get back to work. You've got stuff to do. You don't need to be hanging around here. But before you go, hey, how about hitting that uh, thumbs up button? Or commenting below. I'd appreciate it.